Many fish we keep in our aquariums require an element of vegetation in their diet. Offering fresh vegetables is a more natural way of giving them vegetation than in dried form. It helps them to get some of their natural elements and minerals. It gives them more option to forage and explore and add some interest to you as a fish keeper. It allows us to have a more controlled way of observing them as well. I regularly offer my fish the likes of courgette or zucchini, carrot, watermelon, kale, stuff like that. And it's relatively straightforward to prepare. With cucumber and watermelon, you can pretty much just put it straight in the tank. Well, slice it first. Carrot, courgette, stuff like that needs to be blanched first. So it's just a case of slicing it up, pouring in some boiled water, and sticking it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Once it's been microwaved for two minutes, I normally set it down on the side for a further 10, just to make sure it's fully blanched. After that, we can lift it out carefully and place it on a weed dish to cool down. Doesn't take too long, but we don't want to burn our fingers or even worse, a fish by putting hot vegetables in a fish tank. Then we need to weight it down because some vegetables can still float and they can get blown about by the current. If we're wanting them to stay in place, a fork's a good idea. Stainless steel so it won't affect the water at all. It does a great job. I've also got a few of these long barbecue skewers which are handy because if I stand them up it means I don't have to get my hand in the water to lift them out again. These are great ways of doing it, especially for bottom feeders. But what if we want in a place the vegetables a little bit higher in the tank? Well, nowadays, lots of companies are making these handy little food clips. They are, what they sound like, basically a clip for holding the food, which is then attached to a suction cup. These things are great. It basically means we can place food anywhere in the tank at any height or on any side of the glass different versions that you can pick up obviously but they all do the same job so all we're needing to do now is clip our food be careful though the vegetable can still be hot take your time and make sure you've cooled it properly they can drop a little bit of water back out as well so do it over a surface that you don't mind getting wet if you do find they're not quite cool yet you can always stick it on the side of the tank and let it air dry but once you're happy to put it in, just stick it wherever you want. Press your suction cup up into the glass and it'll stay exactly where you put it. Now, it can take some fish a wee while to work out what it is, but give them time and they'll figure it out no problem. So these things are pretty cheap. You can get them pretty cheap in the stores and cheaper again if you buy them online. Do we need them? Well, they're not essential, but they are a really, really fun way of observing and interacting with your fish. It's a handy way of getting your fish to stay in one spot. If you're trying to photograph them, for example, film them, or maybe you're concerned that one of them might be not well, want a closer look, you can do that, and not exclusively your fish either, because your shrimp and snails are going to enjoy exploring these things too.